clients find hope in their addiction, let's put it this way. It's like when they rearrange furniture in your living room. Somehow in our lives, uh, as we have become addicted, the furniture in our life has been totally misarranged. Uh, we're no longer connecting with family. We're no longer connecting with ourselves or with other people. Uh, we're no longer connecting with our higher power. Things have gotten out of order and that's not the natural order of things in life. And so hope is rearranging the furniture back in place. Uh, hope is understanding and coming to a new belief about who I am. Uh, that um, I don't do a good job of running my own world uh, the way that uh, just meets my needs and my wants. Uh, but now I understand that um, I'm important to other people, that I'm needed by other people, and that I need them as well. And so I understand that this now becomes a life about uh, giving and receiving, about asking and receiving. Uh, it no longer has to be an issue of power in my life or of giving up in my life. The hope is that I can finally be at peace in my heart to be loved by someone else and to know that I'm important in this world and that I have a purpose. I think we lose hope when we lose touch with the fact that our lives have a purpose and a meaning. When I'm addicted, I have no clue what my purpose is. I have no idea why I'm here. And because of that, I become more isolated, more distant from other people, more distant from myself. And the hope is that it doesn't have to be that way. The hope is that I can identify who I am. I can reconnect with myself and other people and my higher power. I can find my purpose in life and have my life be significant. Don't suffer another day. There is hope.